Beautiful soul. Welcome to my first speed build video. I'm Shelby Sims. Upland Place is the home of Vanessa Joan, an up and coming actress in Del Sol Valley. Oh, by the way, if I've mispronounced her name, please let me know. I looked it up and heard several ways to pronounce it, and I chose one that seemed the most common. Anyway, one of my favorite things to do in The Sims is to renovate current lots for specific households and create spaces that are functional, aesthetically pleasing, and practical for gameplay. I try to limit it to renovations that could realistically be done in real life. And that is why my origin ID is Nicer Homes and Lots. My new Let's Play follows Vanessa as she works to gain fame and celebrity status. If you've seen the Get Famous trailers, you've seen her rise from a nobody to a superstar. Because doing well at auditions and on set is important for Vanessa, I wanted to make sure she had a cheery and functional home. I gave her a complete kitchen makeover, choosing higher quality counters and upgraded appliances. I originally went with blue, which you see here, but I changed it to earth tones, which I'll be doing in a little bit. I did a lot of fussing with arranging things and choosing colors, and I wanted to keep costs down. She had a $30,000 simoleon budget. That means the total lot price needed to be under that. I sold most of the furnishings, as you can see, but I went ahead and left the coffee maker, the kitchen table and chair, the bed, and a couple of other small things. I usually don't really like them having the coffee maker because I prefer my sims to go to bed and sleep rather than caffeinate when they're tired, but I left it. I also gave her a tea maker, which I find helpful for moods, and a popcorn maker. I find this a really useful small appliance because the popcorn doesn't go bad as easily and it can be taken along for snack. It's really helpful when you realize your sim needs to go to work or school and is a bit peckish. Just throw in a serving into their inventory and they're good to go. As you see, now I'm doing her bedroom. Um, it, the blue just seemed too cool for me, and I wanted it just to be bright and cheery. I bought the video editing station for her, and I bought a drone. I also gave Vanessa a good computer and a music mixing station. I kept the Mod Pod Twin Sleeper. I have a mod by Little Ms. Sam that allows Sims to buy a more comfortable mattress so Vanessa won't be exhausted and have a sore back from her cheap bed, cheap bed. Even though her bathroom is tiny, I put in higher quality plumbing and a shower tub combo. And as you see here, I'm changing the colors to nice warm tones. Um, I went ahead with that kind of bright red, splash of red in the bathroom just to kind of cheer it up. And I find that the John is a really good toilet to use because it has a really good bladder level and um, it doesn't break down as often. So I did leave the, the um, mirror there and she'll be able to earn a better mirror later on. But for now that'll work to practice her acting and charisma skills. I was able to get her a guitar, which you see now, and I left her couch. And... Um, what I decided to do was go ahead and use concrete and stucco, which you'll see. I used the concrete wall with a little bit of the tile in the bottom and went with a bright, cheery orange. I thought it was kind of a sunny color um, in Del Sol Valley. It would be very cheerful for her to come home um, to this nice warmth after a long day. And by eliminating all the concrete work outside, which you can see, I was able to recoup some of the cost. So that was 526 simoleons right there. I also put in a little lesser expensive um, fencing on the deck and doors and windows to keep the cost down and be able to use those to get the skill building items that Vanessa needed. I really, 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 I'm going to say it like 10 times, I just really like the way that the windows and doors and fencing are much more reasonable in seasons and get famous and it's just it's great and I really like those doors and I find myself using them quite a bit and so I have a combination here of seasons and get famous doors and windows and then let's see what I'm doing here I went ahead and made her have an enclosed um, backyard because as she works her way up in the fame she's gonna want to have some space that she can go and just be herself 
Another thing I like doing is using the train tools because they're free and they'll add a little something there. And I didn't think she needed as many trees as she had, so I left some of the cypress trees, moved them back, and um, enclosed the yard. And then you'll see later I'm going to put the trash can in the back because it really bugs me when people come along and kick over a trash can. So the fencing that I've used here on the front porch is the Craftsman. And I think it goes fine with the stucco home. And she has a really big deck. I plan as she earns more money to go ahead and maybe enclose it and make a nice, make a nice, it's a patio right now, but make a nice patio or deck, get a barbecue, a place where she can entertain outside because the weather's pretty good in Del Sol Valley. Um, I'm enjoying that. I usually play in Windenburg or Brindleton Bay or Willow Creek. And this is much milder here. So that's been kind of fun. And I want to be able to have um, her to be able to enjoy inside and outside. And I went ahead and left the tree that she has. Um, it's nice. And this lot is so big that it, you could easily put another house on there. Um, but who knows? I think uh, it's a good place for Vanessa. Although I have a sneaking suspicion that she has her eye up, up on the heights and uh, the pinnacles that she wants one of those properties when she gets to become a big famous actress so she may not stay here we'll see what happens but uh, the flooring i used here is from the bowling pack it's a linoleum floor and the counters are uh, parenthood i really like those and then i gave her some sparkly wallpaper i just wanted her to be nice and cheery when she comes into her room just just something kind of fun, lighthearted. And uh, um, that rug right there is from Seasons. It's really nice. I have uh, a few 15 simoleon rugs, so I was able to keep costs down that way. And then by replacing the carpeting with the concrete, and I kind of changed my mind, you know, didn't know what color I wanted, but I went ahead with the orange, and I, I'm really happy with it. It's nice and, and bright and cheery. And I opened up the wall there because that's something you could do. It's just open up, just make it a little bit more open. I tend to like having an open kitchen, but um, this style of home is an older home and I wanted to keep some of the, the history of that. So she does not have a cat or dog yet, but I think that might be something nice for her to have in the future. Um, and then I just painted her, her front porch and here we go. This is her home. We'll do a little tour. I'm still working on my camera angles. Oh, this is, I noticed the front, the front porch didn't have a roof on it. So I went ahead and put a roof on that. And then I think I was trying to find a place for the vent. Put it in the back. I think I did that. So she doesn't have a fireplace, but I don't think she needs it. And I gave her a composite roof. So a little bit more fire protection in that area and uh, one of the things when she went in I thought it was funny um, I had her cook so she's you'll see her making a salad and you just look away if you're squeamish I didn't cut it soon enough but I gave her the guitar and one of the first things she did was start playing the guitar which was really cool um, she's leveling up on her cooking skills really well and so that's nice um, because it has the the homey lot trait, which cooking and handiness and gardening and all that. And just so beautiful. Del Sol Valley is just, it's beautiful. I love the world. I wish there were more lots, just like everybody says. But it's a really pretty world. And so this is her home. It's a nice little home for one person. And this is um, filmed a few days later after she's been living it for a while and working and she really really seems to enjoy being here even though it's uh, quite small she's been able to have director and co-worker over and there's enough space for her to uh, go online and update her social media and put the computer right there and look she earned her mirror which helps with her acting skills and this is her bedroom um, she hasn't had time to do much in the way of the media production but that's all right and um, there's a link below for this mod from Little Miss Sam to help her get a more comfortable mattress. 
and here's her kitchen and she enjoys sitting there. She sits at the table and eats and so far she's used her counters and the kitchen to prepare her food and her kitchen sink and her dishwasher and um, she has not touched the coffee maker which doesn't make me sad and that was a quick view of the bathroom and here she is using her uh, mixing station you see I kind of rearranged the living room a little bit and you can see she has an autograph and um, that's some awards from when she was a teen and we're going back out to the backyard here um, she has earned a couple of uh, actors marks and you can see it's fall a nice backyard eventually there's plenty of room to maybe even add a, another little shed or something so I hope you have enjoyed this tour in the speed build and please let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me renovate Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to Shelly's Sims. Have a Sim-tastic day. Dag dag!